Hey guys, it's Greg. We're here at Asheville Brewing Inside. Actually, actually, we just ordered our first beers we are sipping on. That is their Ninja Porter and their brand new Black IPA. Both of them are very, very tasty guys. Speaking of tasty beers, let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Hoppin' Frogs Frog Holler Double Pumpkin Ale. Ale brewed with pumpkin and spices, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, and clove. 8.4% alcohol on this one, guys. Keep refrigerated. Here it is, Frog Hollow Pumpkin Ale. There's a place just south they call Frog Hollow with cauldrons of fire and fall, and they only speak in whispers of the name. There is a brewery, they say, who has the secret of spices picked just right with a crying uh, with a crying shout, they'll knock it out and hand you this frog delight. Alright, for more information, visit our website. I don't see any dating or anything on this bottle, guys, unless you know what what year, month, day, or anything it's, it's got going on there. They're out of Akron, Ohio, guys. This is a pumpkin ale. Availability is fall. The food pairing for this is, since it's a pumpkin beer, as it says, general, in the meat, it's poultry. The glassware is pint Becker's style in the mug with 8.4. I'm going to put it in the snifter today, the Google Glass. And the beer, even though it's 8.4%, I mean, uh, the, the, the spices and all that stuff will probably diminish over time, so... Wouldn't want a long-term seller a pumpkin beer. Uh, I'd be curious to see what does change, to be honest with you. On a beer this big, one would maybe keep one from this year and, and, and put it beside one from next year or vice versa from last year and see how much difference it is. Uh, see if it's a big difference in it uh, or not. So, uh, that being said, I don't think there's anything else we need to discuss here. So let's discuss about this cap popping off. My orange pumpkin-colored cap there, guys. Into the glass. We're going to go down the center here. Maybe we'll get us a little bit of head. What do you think? Right on. This is a bomber. This is a 22 ounce. It's a big bottle. Yeah, nice carbonation. Got us about a half a finger ahead on that aggressive pour there. Uh, it's about a small bubble stream. It doesn't seem to be over carbonated. Looks very orangey in the glass. I mean, a very pumpkin color, very clear. I see the bulb right through it. Not cloudy whatsoever. Head dissipating fast. Just barely covering the top now. Let's get a nose on this one. See if it smells like pumpkin. What do you think? Wow. A lot of nutmeg and some ginger and some, just like I said. Wow. It's got, got a whole lot of spices going on in here. It's like a pumpkin pie in a glass. Not getting the alcohol though for 8.4%, not only those anyway, it's right out of the fridge, it's 40 degrees. It smells just like a typical pumpkin beer, a lot of spices going on there. Back in my mouth water. Cheers everybody. I'm not getting the butter, the butter, butteriness of the pumpkin. A lot of spices. I think it needs more pumpkin to be honest with about it. And then I got the right amount of spices, but I'm not getting that meaty, meatiness or the the uh, the pulpness or, or the butteriness. Uh, of, uh, of the, the bigger beers, Imperials, like the Pumpkin. Very tasty. Very well masked on the alcohol, 8.4. Not getting that at all. No alcohol burning at all. You could drink this really quick and get in trouble. Guys, it's right out of the fridge. <clears throat> I don't see anything. I don't see anything wrong with this beer. Uh, the the only thing that I would probably try to change is put a little more pumpkin, get a little more butteriness in there. But very tasty beer so far. We're going to warm up, see where it ends up. About that, I'm on the fence. We'll see where it ends up. Stick around. All right, guys, I'm back. I just a little left. 
it's room temperature, it's probably been 30 minutes or so now. The alcohol is definitely present now. I get it on the nose and I get it on the taste. Yeah. It's definitely more present than the when it was when it's just chilled, so I don't believe I would let this one warm up too much. I was more impressed with it when it was chilled and, and when it first was poured into the glass than I am now. It's uh, kind of the alcohol is really woke up like a monster. And I still agree with what I initially said. To me, I think it needs a little more pumpkin. They've got the spices there, but it's like it's overkill on the spices now. I don't have enough pumpkin to match the spices. So, final job, guys. Definitely above average beer. A nice imperial, but it was definitely a little more pleasant when it was chilled in the glass than it is now that it's room temperature. So, guys, with that being said, there's no date on the bottle. I've looked at that. I was going to give it an A minus, but I believe I'm going to give it a 7 to B plus. Uh, I'd like to see a date on it somewhere, guys, on the label or whatever. At least we know what year it is, or whether we're drinking a fresh beer or not. So, uh, Especially on a bomber. I mean, you can't say, well, we got it on a case. Well, how many people buy a case of bombers? Get the hell out of here with that shit. So, uh, Put the date on the, on the bottle, guys. That's what we got to have. So, You'd have been in the A category if you'd have had a date on it somewhere. So, With that being said, it's a B plus 7. Rate beer has 91 overall, 96 in the style. And uh, Beer Adam comes up with an 85, which is in their good range. So I agree with that. It's about an 85 beer to me, too. A little, little tastier cold than it is warm. Uh, guys, if you've had this beer, give me some comments back on this one. Liked it, loved it. I've got a bunch of Hoppin' Frogs. I usually like most of their stuff, but uh, I've had better. So I'm going to call it as I see it, and that's what I'll say about it. Put a date on it. You might get a better grade, guys. Let me know what you think on this one. Hit the like button if you like it, and let's look in the prison more. Join me then. See ya.